Hi, this is Michael Gillett, and I'm going to carry on looking at some in-depth parts of Windows Phone 7. So today I'm going to look at the um, storage and how to, uh, what happens if you max out the storage and how to uninstall applications. So if we look here, um, if I try and download Need for Speed, um, I've already got a few games on here and lots of music, so it will tell me that I have uh, reached the storage limit. Um, and I need to create some space and try again. So if I close that, and if we go to the Xbox Live Hub, and then here I can uninstall games that I no longer want. So you just press and hold, and then you can uninstall a game from there. And we'll get rid of this one as well. If we go back to the marketplace, and if we try and install Need for Speed now, ah. Evidently, it's still uninstalling the other applications. But if I need to make more space, uh, I could go to the uh, Pictures Hub, and I know I've got some videos on here that I don't want in the camera roll. So if I click on the camera roll, I can delete videos from here. And then if I want to get rid of music, Again, it's very simple. You just click on, not there. You can't delete artists, you can only delete albums and songs, and then I can delete from there. I don't actually want to delete them, but uh, that's how to delete content from the phones. Just tap and hold, but you can also delete content. Um, by going to a com connecting your Windows Phone up with a computer and deleting things from there, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll just try and uh, install Need for Speed again. See if they've uninstalled the the other games. No, uh, Need for Speed is a big game, so I'm guessing that even after uninstalling two games and a video, I still can't install it. But uh, I was able to uninstall things and then install a game yesterday. Uh, I'll now take a look at the Zune software on a PC and how to uninstall and delete programs from there. So here's my phone and I'm just going to connect that up and you'll see on the, the PC software there, the Zune software, that it will pop up with my Windows Phone information and from there I can then access um, the music and videos and pictures and podcasts. However, podcasts outside of America don't seem to work yet. You can't download them through uh, the marketplace or on the Zune software. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why they're featured when you connect up uh, a Windows Phone 7 because there's no real use to them. So if we have a look at the bottom down here, um, you can see that um, it's a, a bar showing how much space there is on the device so I have got quite a bit of music um, f just over 5 gigs then I have a small amount of videos, small amount of pictures and then some reserved space and this is where applications are stored and the, the phones uh, other aspects that you can't access so now if we go to the different sections, we can delete music or videos or pictures from the Windows Phone 7 uh, through the Zune software. So just right clicking on um, an item such as that video there, you get the option to delete from the phone or copy to my PC. Um, for this I am just going to delete it. should disappear. That's what I'm, there we go, it's disappeared. And you just do the same thing with any 
any album you can just delete straight from straight from the uh, the tune software um, and now you'll see in the bottom that I only have music pictures and then reserve space so there's no no longer any videos down here because obviously they've all been uninstalled uh, uninstalled deleted even um, I think that's pretty much it. I was asked to show how much application, how much space applications took up, but I'm not sure there's any easy way to find that out. Um, but if I find out, I will, uh, I will let you know. So if you want to know anything more about Windows Phone 7, just send me a tweet or contact me through my blog, uh, and I will be publishing this video shortly onto my site, mymicrosoftlife.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Gilly2468.